now, Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. A lot of people saying yes, indeed, a picture perfect day today. Blue skies crystal clear out there. 75 degrees and the sun is not that strong in the sky. It's just enough to warm us as the lower sun angle now really helps with calm conditions. A perfect evening. If you have plans to take a walk this evening, no problem whatsoever. Take a look at Stanley though. Redfish Lake. This was this morning. 26 degrees. This is in smoke. This is fog that settled in and watch this. We'll push this ahead slowly here and we'll go up to just after nine o'clock. You see that uh, fog just burning away to a beautiful blue sky. Here's 935 that low layer of fog and now it's gone at 1050 leaving crystal clear sky. Still seeing some boats out here at the lake at Redfish Lake dropping down into the mid 20s this morning. But again, it will stay nice the next two days here and then we'll likely see a little more snow going up into the sawtooths here as we start to get a little more moisture for the weekend and the beginning of next week. In fact, here it is the Stanley extended forecast next two days in the 60s. Sunshine looks really nice in Stanley itself just above 6400 feet. We dropped to 49 with some rain showers around. There could be some mixed snow showers in Saturday morning, especially, but in the sawtooths we'll likely see a little bit of accumulating snow here and staying chilly all the way to next week with temperatures in the 40s. So the coolest weather right now is in eastern portions of Idaho. Uh, West Yellowstone temperatures near 60, but you look towards the west here, 88 in Medford, 85 in Portland. It is warm. That warm weather is moving in our direction, 75 in Boise. Now we're not going to get to 88 like Medford because we'll get that uh, cooler weather blasting into the northwest, kind of cutting the heat off at the pass, and so we won't get a, uh, that real warm up coming in, but definitely warming up along the coast. As you see in San Francisco at 85 degrees still, but that cool weather is sliding to the east. It's sliding to the south as a, a storm over Colorado right now, and the heat heat wave they've been having in the east is finally coming to an end. We're starting to cool things down, but across the west we've cleared out and we are warming up nicely with that pleasant weather sliding to the east. Here comes that warmer weather I mentioned, but this is what comes in for Saturday morning. That's our cold front. This will push through with some showers and the question is the timing. When does that front come through? Computer charts are kind of taking uh, a couple of different angles, so I'm going to give you a window and inside that window it could rain for a couple of hours, maybe two, three hours some off and on showers. It won't rain the entire window here, but I'm thinking 2 a.m. to 11 a.m. Somewhere in there will probably have the chance of showers. I'm leaning towards earlier in the morning. Here's the warmer weather for Thursday and Friday. Here comes that frontal system. This is Saturday morning. Shows at 6 o'clock here, but once it goes through to a Saturday afternoon, cooler and breezy conditions are likely. Here's a zoom in on that front coming through Saturday 2 a.m. And by 11 a.m., this chart has it way gone. And if this one is right, we'll clear things out. We'll get some blue sky but all in all, it will be a lot cooler over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday, dramatically cooler. So enjoy the day tomorrow. My exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today, mid to upper 70s, near 80 in the Western Valley around Ontario and Nyssa tomorrow. Boise, right about 76 degrees, very close to where it was today. Another carbon copy, and that means some beautiful weather for the autumn time. Temperatures in the 70s in Garden Valley, 84 in Riggins tomorrow with that warmth in those lower valleys. 70 in McCall, beautiful out on the lake. 65 in Stanley after 20s in the morning with plenty of sunshine. Still those chilly mornings, but in the Magic Valley, we'll go to the lower to mid 70s as well. I expect light wind, and that's what's going to make it feel real nice. The light wind and the sunshine combined. Here's that extended forecast, keeping it beautiful. Two more days. The, the number of nice days just keeps shrinking. Now we're down to only two more left, and even Friday evening this time, we'll see some cloud cover starting to come in over the weekend. Those showers on Saturday should be in the morning. There's a slight chance in the afternoon, but only 59 on Sunday. Can I 80, put you on the 59. spot? Like, is this the last of the 70s? No, I think we'll get 70s back. Okay. Good. A little, I'm glad you said that. A little. 70, 50. Don't ask about it. Even if Eden. it's not true, just keep saying <laughs> it. it